Alright. They're changing Sunstrider to 7 mana. The ability of the card still is exactly the same. The decks that play this card will still play the card. Albatross from 3 mana to 4 mana. <laughs> Honestly. Like, holy shit. They couldn't even, like, put, like, a picture of the card and then, like, an air a green arrow like they, like, sometimes do. Indicating, like, what it's changing to. Yeah, so bad luck's going from 3 mana to 4 mana. At 3 mana, there's literally no downside to playing the card. At 4 mana, that you, you're actually, at 4 mana, it becomes a tech. Because there's better 4 statted minions. But right now, if you're playing any deck and you're not playing bad luck albatross in it, you're doing it wrong. Frenzied Felwing, it's from a 3-3 three, three to a 3-2. Uh, this is because most things do, like, 2 damage. And most, like, 1-drops are, like, 2-1s. So this card can actually die to a 1-drop now. The minion in itself, the stats, were a problem. But the biggest problem was the fact that you can play it for free. So you get to play a 3-2 for free. That's the problem with the card. Even if this card was a 2-2, you still get to play it for free. So the mana cost. Just make it cost one more mana. Or two more mana. Demon Hunter, the Outcast. They went from three mana to four mana. And they increased its attack by one. So it kept the same ability. The ability was the problem. Is that it goes face and it kills all your minions while they develop a board. This, the, the card never gets to attack you anyway. So the four attack does not matter. This is pointless. The card dies the turn after. The attack has nothing to do with why this card is good. So they basically buff something that doesn't matter, and they change the mana cost of a card where it doesn't matter how much mana it costs, its ability is the same. Battle Fiend, this is a perfect nerf. This is exactly what I said it should have been since day one. I, I, I said this exact change, so that's good. Gravebound Adept, it went from 7 attack to 6 attack. It has the same ability, it costs the same mana cost, the card is still good. Sacrificial Pack should have done what Sacrificial Pack should have always done. Destroys a demon on your side. A friendly demon, not any demon. So you can't pay zero mana, kill an opponent's demon that costs seven mana, and gain five health. You also can't use Sacrificial Pact on Drax anymore. So this is Sacrificial Pact is now a balanced card. Blood Bloom. The only people playing this card are playing Wild. There's no more like OTK Cthulhu. If you do that, it's a little bit harder to pull off now because you have to discount more cards. Liberum of Justice. It costs six mana now. It costs five mana. At five mana, the card is still good. Six mana, the card was still good because the Liberum is discounted anyway. And most of the time, as long as you played one Liberum discount, it goes to four mana. And four mana is the same cost as a quality, which has the same ability as this card has now. Open the Way Gate. This card from six spells to now cost eight spells. The spells don't really fucking matter because if you're playing a Wild and you're playing any control deck the difference between six spells and eight spells is two spells and two spells is basically one to two turns and the deck's still gonna shit on you anyway and against aggro you're still gonna lose because it doesn't really matter between two to eight spells so they literally didn't change the way gate at all they just made it slightly hard they made it slightly take longer but it doesn't matter how long it takes because if you're playing a control deck they have all the time in the world and that's all the changes good talk